One day after another mass shooting claimed five lives, this time in South Carolina, President Joe Biden said today he's taking action aimed at combating gun violence in the U.S. Jake Holter brings us more from our Washington Bureau. The House passed a gun buyer's background check bill last month, but it has stalled in the Senate, and President Biden said today he is tired of waiting. They've offered plenty of thoughts and prayers, members of Congress, but they passed not a single new federal law to reduce gun violence. Enough prayers. Time for some action. Biden this week issued six executive orders to curb gun violence. One cracks down on quote unquote ghost guns, firearms assembled from parts with no serial numbers that are virtually untraceable and can be bought without a background check. Another asks the Justice Department to develop model red flag legislation for states that would let police or family members seek a court order to temporarily bar people in crisis from accessing firearms if they present a danger to themselves or others. As he discussed the measures today, Biden insisted they will not harm gun rights. Nothing, nothing I'm about to recommend in any way impinges on the Second Amendment. There are phony arguments suggesting that these are Second Amendment rights at stake from what we're talking about. That argument that there can be gun restrictions that don't harm gun rights has been the mantra of the organization founded by former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. She was at the Rose Garden ceremony and had high praise afterwards for the president's actions. So excited. Joe Biden. Get her done, get her done, get her done. Giffords was the victim of gun violence herself, grievously wounded in an assassination attempt in 2011 that killed six and injured 12 others in Tucson. That led her to form Giffords.org, which has spent years fighting for gun reform. Now is the time to come together, be responsible. Democrats, Republicans, everyone. We must never stop fighting. Biden said it is a fight he plans to continue. My job, the job of any president, is to protect the American people. Whether Congress acts or not, I'm going to use all the resources at my disposal as president to keep the American people safe from gun violence. In Washington, Jay Coulter, Cronkite News. The president today also introduced David Chipman, his nominee to be the next director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. Chipman, a former ATF special agent and gun control advocate, is currently working at the Giffords organization as a senior policy advisor.